Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question. And the question in question was, Frederick, what do new be like beginner programmers struggle with the most? So let's get into it. Well, everybody struggles with something, I suppose, but I think that the simplest answer is to be able to express what it is that you want to be able to do. That's probably the most common one. I mean, the fact of the matter is that when you start with programming or a new language, a new concept, you simply like you want to be able to do something. You have a desire to express something, but you don't actually know either the syntax or the libraries or their usage, like how to actually go about expressing that thing that you desire. And so the way that you, you people, uh, people usually solve that problem is to go out there onto the internet and Google around until they find something that seems to give them the answer to, to their problem. And this is actually one of the main reasons why I think it's so important that you have a strong community of contributors who produce content around programming, just in general. I mean, I mean, some languages do this really well. JavaScript would be one such language. And some, uh, some languages are absolutely piss poor at it to the point where it's almost frustrating to get a straight answer to your questions. And I will even go as far as to say that if you don't have this culture around pr continuously producing content for beginners and for people who are trying to get answer to, answers to their questions, it's likely that the language will suffer for it. At least the adoption rate will suffer for it. Because, I mean, it's very frustrating when you try to figure something out, like you get an answer to your to your question, and I mean, you go to maybe a range of different websites trying to figure out a way to solve this problem, and everybody has a, either you're not going to get your answer, or the answers that are provided to you aren't really going to solve your problem. And I can, I can relate to, I mean, I feel extreme frustration for that in, when that happens as well. The sad part about this, this is that although with the year, like with a few years of experience, you're going to get to a point where, all right, you're going to know the answers to a lot of the simpler questions. But if you ever get from, go from a language that you know really well to maybe a new language or a new tool or something like that, you're going to have to go through that process again because, hey, now all the interfaces are different, all the names and conventions and all that stuff is also different. So actually, uh, something, I mean, that's what I've said in a few other videos where I'll state that, you know, your knowledge in one language will very often transfer into a new language, but that doesn't necessarily mean, it's fairly unlikely that it means that you're going to be as productive in the new language as you were in the old one, just because, you know, it's all programming. Because it all, I mean, it is all, all programming, but things are still new to you, things are still going to be different. And the methods and the interfaces and how they behave and all that stuff is also going to be different. So it's going to take you a while to, to learn this pretty much all over again. So that is probably my answer to this question. I will, I will, I will leave us there because I think that's the best answer that I can give. So what I want you to take away from this is that when it comes to beginners and what they usually struggle the most with, in programming, it usually comes down to wanting to do something, like expressing something, but not actually knowing the interfaces, the methods, and like the way to actually go about this. That's why we have all these tutorials that you should touch on one concept, like setting up a server or writing something in a specific manner, and then you have people going to Stack Overflow asking all kinds of questions relating to different coding problems. Because frankly, it is tricky when you're not a master of something to know exactly all right these like especially when you don't know all the methods and all the things that are all, like all the possible ways that you can express something then it's very tricky to figure that out and the frustration that you go through and then you find your solution usually and then you fix it and you remember that to the next time and then you repeat that process over and over and over and over and over again until you absolutely want to vomit that process that's what's going to make you into a master programmer have a great day